Hello. Do you need information about the annual election period? What you need to do, what you don't need to do, what are your options, and what are the different steps that you need to take? Stay tuned. Hello, this is Billy Williams, Medicare Health Insurance Options. We're going to talk today about the upcoming annual election period. At the end of 2019, starting on October 15th, going through December 7th, this is the period of time that you may or may not need to make some changes to your Medicare health insurance plans. There are many of you who are watching this video that think that you need to make some changes to your insurance, but you really may not need to. So we're going to first break up most individuals into two separate groups. The first group would be individuals who do have original Medicare Part A and Part B as their main coverage, and then in addition to your Medicare as primary, you do have a Medicare supplement policy, sometimes referred to as a Medigap policy. These are identified by letters of the alphabet. For example, a Plan F or a Plan G or a Plan N. If you are in Group 1, then you most also likely have a separate standalone Part D prescription drug plan. Now, there's nothing that you need to do for Medicare Part A or Part B that continues from month to month and from year to year. Also, it's unlikely that you're going to need to make any changes to your Medicare supplement policy. Now, there will be some exceptions. In case you do have a policy that has a policy anniversary date during this time of the year and you do receive a rate increase notice, then of course you do want to speak with someone just to make sure that you're still getting the best value and to see if there may be some other um, Medicare supplement plan either the same plan letter that you're on now or possibly moving to a different plan letter that would give you a better value. But there is no rule that says this is the only time that you can price shop your Medicare supplement. This is a common misconception. A Medicare supplement policy is a guaranteed renewable product, which means that you only agree to stay on your Medicare supplement plan one month at a time as you pay your monthly premium. So you can actually price shop and change your Medicare supplement anytime. Now, if you are in Group 1, as we mentioned before, you most likely do have a Part D prescription drug plan. Your Part D prescription drug plan is an annual contract. It begins on January 1 and goes through December 31st. Many of you may have been on the same prescription drug plan for many years and did not make any changes, and that is common. However, during the annual election period is the one time per year where you are allowed to compare and see if another drug plan with another company might be better for you. What we do at our agency is we will get a list of your medicines, we'll go to the Medicare website, we will create a profile for you, we will search all the drug plans in your area based on your specific needs and what pharmacy that you might go to. If we look at your current plan in your list of medicines and we determine that the plan that you have now is still the best value for you, we will not recommend any changes. If you like your drug plan as it is and you do not uh, make any changes, assuming the plan is available in your county for next year, assuming you have not moved out of your service area, if you 
take no action, then you will automatically renew for the next year. Now, you will receive some materials in the mail from your Part D prescription plan company. It's called the Annual Notice of Change. These are documents that you do want to take a look at and review because if there's any significant changes to your coverage, such as they could change your monthly premium, they could change your deductible, they could remove uh, specific medicines off of their formulary, they can change the co-payments on the medicines that you're using now. So you do want to uh, open those documents and take a look at your annual notice of change uh, review documents and see if you might need to review your Part D plan and make any changes for the following year. Any changes that are made on a Part D prescription drug plan from October 15th through December 7th, those new changes will go into effect on January 1. Okay, let's talk about Group 2. There are some individuals watching this video that do have original Medicare but also have chosen to enroll in a Part C Medicare Advantage plan. A Medicare Advantage plan is either going to be an HMO or a PPO. These are network plans. On a network plan, the insurance company is being paid a certain amount of money each month to provide medical care to you. They have put together a network of providers in your area that want to participate in the network. These providers have agreed in advance for um, receiving a specific amount of money for specific services that they have provided to you. And in turn, you have an agreement with the insurance company stipulates that you will only go to doctors in the network and that you will also participate in a series of cost sharing payments, either a flat fee, which is a co-payment, or a percentage. Now, a Medicare Advantage plan like a Part D prescription drug plan is also an annual contract. The annual contract starts on January 1, goes to the end of the year, and again, you have an opportunity once per year, October 15th through December 7th, to decide if you want to continue on your Medicare Advantage plan or if you want to make some changes. If you are satisfied with the way the Medicare Advantage plan is working for you, if your doctors that you want to go to still accept the plan, if the prescription medications that you take on a regular basis are still covered on the plan, if you take no action, and if the plan is still available in your area for the following year, then if you take no action, you will automatically renew for another year. As we mentioned before, with the Part D prescription drug plan, you will also receive an annual notice of change packet. You want to review this packet because, again, there can be changes to your Medicare Advantage plan. They can change the monthly premium. They can change the benefits. There might be some doctors leaving the network. Some of your medicines, the way they are covered, might change. Another thing that you can do during the annual election period is change from a Medicare supplement plan to a Medicare Advantage plan. Medicare Advantage plans, except for in-stage renal disease, do not ask any health questions. If you want to change from a Medicare supplement policy to a Medicare Advantage policy, as long as you submit your application to the Medicare Advantage carrier from October 15th through December 7th, your policy will be issued and your new policy will start on January 1 of the following year. Another change that can be made during the annual election period is you can change from one Medicare Advantage plan to a different Medicare Advantage plan, either with the same company or with a different company. Again, the same rules apply. You have to submit your application to the new Medicare Advantage plan between October 15th and December 7th. The new Medicare Advantage plan will begin on January 1 of the following year. During the annual election period, as we mentioned before, you can also 
change your Part D prescription drug plan. If you currently have an active Part D prescription drug plan, you can change to a new Part D prescription drug plan with the same company or a different company. You must submit your application between October 15th and December 7th. The new Part D prescription drug plan will begin on January 1 of the following year. If you currently do not have a Medicare Advantage plan, but would like to start a new Medicare Advantage plan, this is also something that can be done during the annual election period. The last thing to mention that you can do during the annual election period is, if you currently have an active Medicare Advantage plan, and you would like to change to a Medicare supplement plan, this is something that you can do during this season. Now, unless you have some special situation, if you are past age 65 and a half, or it has been more than six months since your Part B first started, then you will be in a situation that will require you to answer health questions and go through underwriting in regards to your application for your Medicare supplement plan. So if you are going to consider this option, you will want to start the process to make sure that you give yourself enough time for this to happen. During the end of the season, which is October and November and the first part of December, the insurance companies are very busy. They receive very large amounts of applications, so things do slow down. So it actually can take several weeks in some cases before we get an answer back from an insurance company once we have sent them an application for a Medicare supplement. If you are going to send an application sometime in October or November, you should be okay. If the Medicare supplement policy is approved, the Medicare supplement policy will start in January 1 of the next year. Your current Medicare Advantage plan will run to the end of the year. If you do make a change from a Medicare Advantage plan to a Medicare supplement plan, if your Medicare supplement plan is approved, you will then also most likely want to get a Part D prescription drug plan that will also start on January 1 that will work together with your original Medicare and your new Medicare supplement. Okay, so this seems like there's a lot going on and it seems very confusing, but in reality it's not. For most of you watching this video, no action is going to be required from you during the annual election period. However, if you're not sure what your real options are and would like to speak with an experienced independent agent, please give me a call. My name is Billy Williams. My website is MedicareHealthInsuranceOptions.com. My toll-free number is 800-499-1942. Working with seniors and helping them navigate the different decisions and the different options available to them helping them make the best choice and also helping them to make the changes in getting all the plans set up is what I do. This is my specialty. I am licensed in 34 states and I've been doing this for 10 years. My services to you are always free. I certainly look forward to speaking with you if you do decide to reach out to me. I hope that the information in this video has been helpful and we look forward to speaking with you down the road. Thank you.